it's this old tree that was rotten just on the corner of the wall around the side of the property. Uh, we've lost that in the storm. It's obviously got very full of water and then just um, toppled over. Ants at work again. So they've even managed to uh, dig up the path of the ants. Oh, look at this little fellow here. Where is he? There. Where are you taking it? So I really don't like leaving all the heavy work to Steve. Uh, he's got an awful lot on doing the building and everything. So today I'm just going to set about clearing some of this rubbish around the yard because it's driving me mad. Everything just looks so untidy inside and out. The plant pot we're going to use um, in the garden, I think I've mentioned that before when we build a bit of a garden where we're pulling the sheds down. So um, let's see if I can... Gently take that out the way. use this as hardcore for the driveway as you come in because there's quite a lot of uneven parts and it might be better off building. Might as well use it up rather than getting a stick. They look quite nice. I might just pop them to one side. Might use them again in the garden or something. There's some lovely stones and rocks around the place. Just being very careful what I'm uh, picking up because we've had some of those centipede things that bite well we've had one um potentially a few nasty spiders as well yeah so just need to be very careful when stuff's been around like this laid around for a while I've just seen a nice big spider there but it looks quite harmless i'll just check weight of the barra because well i can do a bit more than that There's quite another nice stone. I think it's probably what's used for shished walls. Um, we've got the, in the side garden, we do have a part, whoops, part of the wall that's fallen down. So these will be quite useful to rebuild that. I'm just going to take this up and dump it now. I don't know how you whether granite's very easy to break up or not and Steve's not here at the moment so I'm just going to pop this to one side and 
just stick with putting anything that's not usable like the old bricks and the old um i don't know what you call them these cinder blocks yeah there's a there's obviously a portuguese name. <laughs> But they'll all break up easy and I don't see that we can use them for anything else to be honest. Whew. It's getting out quite warm now. Another piece of uh, shit. It's going to look like you've just moved everything over to a different side. Well, no, because that's going up there to do the driveway. Anything that's any use for building materials, I'm just putting there that we're going to reuse. Oh, yeah, I know, but you've just moved from one pile to another. And Alfie, as always, is complaining because there is a gate between him and Mum, but uh, he does have a tendency still to run away, despite being, what, 15? 13 and a 13 half. and a half, close enough. So unfortunately, he's getting quite senile as well. Um, a little bit deaf. So you can't trust him to listen to commands when you're telling him what to do. And to being a typical spaniel as well, he kind of gets something in his head and that's him, he's not listening to you anyway. Whether we can or we can't, he is a different matter. But we found because he's senile, it's better to stick with some sort of routine. Oh God, I can't move that. Ah. I think I might have to do that one. Oh, it's tied together with um i forget what they call it but it's like a metal rod that goes through it rebar rebar that's the word so i think we might have to break that up here so that's the little bit i've just cleared um it's not a lot but we can do a little bit each day it'll just help to get the yard tidied up because there's quite a lot to do So I've got two and a quarter pound of grapes in the pan and then two cups of water. Uh, brought it to the boil and then I'm just pressing it through a sieve now. Just get that fruity bit in there. I'll just keep doing that until uh, till all those have been sieved and pressed through. So I brought the grapes to the boil in um, four cups of water, pressed them through a sieve, extracted as much juice as I could and now I'm going to add five cups of sugar. I need to give that a stir and um, sip. The pan's quite full. So I think I really could do with treating myself to um, a nice big preserve pan. So that's boiling away nicely now and just reducing down, um, taking the lid off obviously because it's not going to reduce with the lid on and we'll see what happens from there. It's very thin at the moment. Um, while I've been doing the jam, Ellie Rose has uh, been down into the orchard and picked lots of pears and apples 
it's forecast rain all week this week so at least we'll have something to do inside me and her can be getting on with um, preparing these um, and getting them into the freezer for the winter for pies etc I'm not sure I am because we've not got the house completely watertight yet. We're still waiting on um, builders getting back to us. It's really difficult to get any builders at the moment. Worst comes to the worst, we'll be getting there on the roof and doing it ourselves. Hola, bon dia. Uh, we're just calling up at the local Fragusia this morning in, in our village. Um, we need a residence statement document um, from them so that Ellie Rose can obtain a NIF and then we can all get registered with a, a doctor. So we'll let you know what documents we needed and how that went. So our lovely farmer man's been round this afternoon and brought us four huge peppers. I'll show you them in a bit and a grip and a lovely lettuce. Um, we got the gist of what he was saying that we need to cut the grapevines back. Now, there are quite a lot of wasps on them as well so Steve's just doing that. I have been helping but I'm filming now. Loads of grapes, it's just a waste to get rid of them. 
of them like this, but... It is, because they're beautiful. We just haven't got a... We just don't have the time to do anything with them. A lot of wasps there as well. Yeah. Those red ones there are really gorgeous. I've just tried some, but it looks like the wasps like them as well. I read some of the longer you leave them, the sweeter they get. So that's probably why the wasps are out like yeah. at the moment. Uh, for anybody who's watching and thinks I'm doing this wrong, you're probably right. I haven't got a clue. So do let us know in the comments below. We'd be very interested to learn what we're supposed to do with them. At the moment, we're just getting the grapes off because, as we say, there's a lot of wasps. So uh, hopefully we'll stop that. And then uh, we need to learn how to um, cut them back properly. There is, they're gorgeous. I know some of these longer ones, longer bits, won't cut in back. Uh, but I'm just getting rid of the grapes first because that'll get rid of the wasps and then I can get up and better. Whew, uh, yeah. I think I've more or less got this patch here, this one up here. They look beautiful grapes. Even though there's a lot, you know, you get a... That's beautiful. I mean, even though they've not been looked after. These are uh, the peppers and lettuce that the farmer next door brought us round today. They're absolutely gorgeous. Just try and show you just kind of how big they are. Literally filling my hand and more. Beautiful. So I'll have um, one of those tonight for tea. I'm going to add it to some fried rice, chicken and some cherries. So that's it for today. Um... Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos. And don't forget for regular updates to visit our Facebook page and also our Instagram. Thanks for watching and uh, to all our subscribers and people that make comments. We love reading the comments and a big thank you to all our regulars and supporters.